So for today's video, I am going to transform my old clothes into trendy ones without the use of any sewing machine. I was really inspired by some creative TikTokers and YouTubers transforming their old clothes into trendy ones. So I thought why not grab some of our old clothes and transform them into cute and trendy outfits like what I have been seeing all over the internet, especially on Instagram and some of the online shops like Zafu, which are very, very expensive. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. Guys, this is the first victim. This is just a plain white t-shirt. And ginagamit naman siya sa NSTP before, but now, na naman may uniform, so I decided to use transform it into a trendy one. As for materials, you will need the following. A needle and a thread, a pair of scissors, a fabric glue which I got from Shopee. I'll just put the link down below and of course a tape measurement. So you will be taking a t-shirt. First, you will decide how deep of a v-neck you want to cut into the t-shirt. Here, you'll see that I am taking off the collar carefully and I just fold the shirt so I would know where the center of the v-neck is. I'm just cutting it for about 2 inches. It's best to cut a bit less than too much at the beginning. Next, you will be hemming the top edge of your shirt. Here, you'll see that I am marking the shirt before cropping it. You will be needing that excess cloth for the channels later. Now, you will be taking the excess cloth and you want to leave a little bit of seam allowance as you will be having the bottom edge of this fabric to tuck it in. With a weed for about 2 inches and you need to measure the tip of the v-neck until the bottom part of the shirt for the length. I'm just flipping it over so I could start stitching for the channels of the tie. Next, I will be sewing down 3 straight stitches to create the channels for the straps, tie, or whatsoever. I'm carefully pinning the cloth so it won't move around while I am stitching. So I am starting off the center one to make sure that the overall channels will be straight from the bottom part of the t-shirt up to the center point of the minak. Just be careful not to sew the other side of the t-shirt. I did that once, so you need to start over if it happens. Just be careful. You will need a safety pin. Attach it to the end of the tie. This will help you feed it through the channels of your shirt. Make sure that your channels are big enough to feed your strap, ribbon, or whatsoever. you guys can see how it looks like.
my father. And of course, I asked him a permission first or a concept first so whether I can use it or have it as one of my DIYs. And thankfully, he said, okay. So what I want to achieve with this follow-up is this top. My Julie said, listen to you guys, can I shake it up and skirt. So let's just hope for the best na ma-achieve na po siya. So now, let's start sewing. Get a crop top for your sample. I folded it a bit because it was too long. So just lay it flat on top of your shirt. Mark where the ends of the crop top shirt would be and add seam allowance. Make sure not to cut the front part and back part of the shirt at the same time because there is a possibility that it won't be straight or even. You need to measure first on how long your neckline would be. And measure also the both armpits. Just cut those and don't forget the seam allowance. This is how the top would look like. So this is the fabric glue I got from Shopee. I'll just put the link in the description box. And I'm just gonna be putting a little bit on the sides of where I cut it just so it won't fray up. Now let's proceed to the back part. You need again the excess fabric. You will be cutting two rectangular patterns. Now take the two rectangular patterns and hand sew them to the both sides of the top. I am now taking the extra placket from the excess fabric of the shirt. Sew them at the back to have an opening and easy access of taking off or wearing it. So guys, I decided to add a button in the middle. And please make sure to measure the button hole before cutting it. Here you'll see that I am testing the button if it would fit in the button hole. First, you need to fold the rectangular pattern before hand sewing them. Now do the same thing to the other side. Now get the excess arm part fabric of the shirt and create two straps. And now, you are going to attach the straps that you made earlier to the front and back part of the top. And now, we are done with the tank top! Yay! Now, let's proceed to the skirt part. Now, we are going to use the excess lower part of the polisher. Now, as you can see, I am just cutting to create the front and back part of the skirt. Get a skirt that fits you. You are going to use it as your pattern. Just cut the sides and don't forget the seam allowance. I am 
is folding it so I would know where the center is. As you can see, I am just measuring the waist part of the skirt and I am going to divide it into three. So after that, you will have two marks. Just cut it until you reach the end. And you're going to sew these parts and don't forget to leave at least two inches for the slit. Don't forget to not sew where the mark of your slit would be. And for the slit part, this is how I sew them. After that, I am adding a zipper in the middle part of the skirt. Finally, we are going to sew each sides of the front and back part of the skirt. So this is how it would look like. I'm just flipping it over. We will now go on to the waistband. For the waistband, get the other excess sleeve. Let's cut the cloth into two. As you can see, I am just measuring the cloth for the waistband with a width of 4 inches each and you are going to fold them now we are going to sew them together to make the waistband I am adding a button on the waistband. And now we are done with the tongue top and the skirt. As you can see, I am going to cut the bottom part for at least 4 to 5 inches. And there I am pointing where the tip of the v-neck will be. And initially, I am cutting off the color. <laughs> so I am putting a fabric glue just so it won't fray out. I was visualizing my desired opening at the back or you can also use a pencil or crayon to draw. Once you are done with it, this is quite pretty self-explanatory. You are just going to cut it all off. Now 
Now it is time to make the string. Basically, I took back the same piece that I cut off earlier from the bottom portion. I'm just going to cut a straight line of course and I'm just going to connect them together to create a longer string. And one tip, if you guys are sewing like a curve, I split the curve beforehand. You won't see it inside but at least you won't have that bulky fabric. Basically, I am folding a loop, creating a loop for the string to go through. I sewed out this area. Make sure the loop is a little bit bigger, not too small, because the smaller the loop, the harder the string will go through. Whew. This is the final step guys. You will be sewing a straight stitch just to hold it all in place. used an excess cloth as a ribbon to tighten up the shorts. Okay, that is the end of today's video. Let me know guys which item you like the best. If you guys will also try this, please tag me on Instagram because I would love to see your outcomes. So that's it. I guess I'll see you on our next one. Bye!